As one of the countries with the most experienced military in the world, the Israeli military has its own understanding of war. At the beginning of this century, Israel realized that its military needed a more flexible flying device than a helicopter, which could penetrate deep into enemy territory or shuttle through narrow urban areas such as tall buildings, rapidly transport supplies, or evacuate critically injured personnel from the front lines. Urban Aeronautics developed an agile aircraft for this purpose, called the Air Mule, later renamed the Cormorant. As of now, the development work has been ongoing for over 10 years, with the first prototype taking flight in 2009. The Air Mule is indeed a unique unmanned aerial vehicle. It utilizes a duct fan, has a compact structure, and lacks the exposed large propellers of a helicopter. The aircraft is only 6.2 meters in length, weighs about 770 kilograms empty, and has a maximum takeoff weight of around 1400 kilograms. The aircraft uses a combined propulsion system with a Turbomeca aerial two turboshaft engine generating 701 kilowatts of power. It drives two duct fans at the front and rear of the aircraft, with the lift being adjusted by changing the pitch of the fan blades equally and simultaneously. Horizontal movement is achieved by two smaller duct propellers at the rear of the aircraft, with the power differential between them allowing for yaw control. Additionally, there are numerous small blades beneath the lift fan, which can alter the airflow direction and produce lateral force. The lightweight airframe is primarily made of carbon fiber composite materials and features wheeled landing gear. There are cargo compartments on either side of the midsection, capable of carrying a total of 500 kilograms of supplies or transporting two injured personnel. The compartments are equipped with rescue equipment for blood transfusions, although the prototype does not have soundproofing, resulting in an interior noise level of up to 95 decibels. It is possible that future matured models may include soundproofing. The air mule is unmanned and utilizes fly-by-wire control systems, equipped with GPS, laser altimeters, Doppler radar, automatic stabilization systems, and a ground remote control system with three data transmission links. Even if there are issues with the remote control operation, the aircraft can achieve a stable landing relying on its own stabilization systems. As a military equipment, the air mule lacks armor protection and defensive weapons, but it is equipped with chaff dispensers and designed to reduce noise, heat, and radar signatures, providing some survivability. It may be possible to install remote weapon stations in the future. The air mule has a respectable flight speed, with a maximum speed of 180 km per hour, a maximum endurance of 5 hours, and a maximum flight altitude of 3,700 meters. When flying with a maximum payload of 500 kg, it can execute missions within a 50 km radius. The designers have also considered its use in other fields, such as civilian rescue operations or operations in radiation-contaminated areas. The aircraft can be equipped with a remote-controlled mechanical arm and can also be considered for installation of agricultural pesticide sprayers. There have been no recent reports on the air mule in the past two years. It is known that two prototype aircraft have been built, and the project may still be undergoing further optimization. It is possible that it may enter into official service in the coming years.